All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. Today is the last episode of my little journey into Top 11. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to download Top 11 for free, links down in the description. Go check it out. Go and join the over, what, 240 million people across the world that have downloaded this game. I'm continuing to enjoy it. It's the last video that we're going to do together. Um, but if you want to add me as a friend on Facebook, I am continuing playing this daily on my mobile phone. So make sure you go and add me and, uh, yeah, join in the fun. We've finished the season. I've actually moved on now to the next season. You top 11 players actually know that the season's moved on. We finished the season, actually, well, obviously we won the cup. Um, but this season, obviously when you move up a division, your players struggle. And because I'm not buying any tokens or anything, I found it tough. However, I have managed to strengthen two players. I finally got a decent uh, player recommended. I got Valderrama recommended to me. So I picked him up relatively cheaply. So we signed McKen a player called, or the goalkeeper of 750k. Don't tell me how many tokens it costs. 750k. And then obviously we've signed Valderrama. He was recommended by my assistant. We've got two more players, come, three more players come through in the youth system look, which is pretty good. Um, also... Our youth system players are actually pretty good. Even though we've moved up a league, we've got Svetton, who is kind of our starting right midfielder at the moment. And we've also got a youngster, a striker, Dark, and he was not as good. He's kind of like third choice. Right, league form has been pretty good. We are fourth in the table. Uh, four, uh, four wins, one draw, one defeat. Cup, Champions League, we've struggled, but we've had three draws in those three games. And the Cup... I think we got knocked out in the first round. Yeah, we got knocked out in the first round. So that's probably helping us with rest a little bit, to be honest, because we are struggling with rest. Our ground is actually looking pretty good. Building up, we've got a nice little youth system. We're up here. Uh, I think we're just waiting on utilities now. because You've got to wait till youth, something on utility. Club store, by the looks of it, is getting built at the moment. Um, training's improved. Medical's improved. Stadium's going to need a little bit. I'm not quite sure if we're filling the ground and stuff, but it's looking pretty good. We're slowly getting there with that. Obviously, I've just realised as well that the, the higher you go up with your the higher you go up with your stadium levels and your facilities, it takes longer for them to move up. So I think like the utility is the next one. They're now, now taking around yeah, they're now taking three days to complete, which is a little bit longer, slowing me down a little bit, but over the course of the season, okay, I suppose it adds a little bit of, of realism to it where it doesn't take sort of like two seconds for it to sort of like all uh all get built there's a strike there 18 years old one two three four five stars potentially okay we do need another striker but that we i can't actually afford him unfortunately right let's pick a squad who are we playing today let's see where they are i've been trying to rotate any rotation options you guys that probably played it longer than me let me know down in the comments and Struggling with fitness a little bit. Is it just purely down to just sort of like rotating and resting as much as you possibly can? Interested to know your thoughts. So we're playing Odys Odys Odyspan. Where are they? The down in eleventh. One win, two draws, three defeats. I haven't scored many, but I haven't let in many. Let's go and see what our. I haven't done any. I've done some training first thing this morning when I got up with my morning coffee. Right. Let's see. Lineup wise, we're not too bad. We're not. Too bad in physical shape, really. There's only Caraman. Um, so everyone else can probably start. Let's try and get our best 11 out there, I think. Stoichkov is now moved down to a four and a half star. Giorgio Stoichkov. I've stopped spending my tokens as well on real names because we had Nesta, Stoichkov, Bjorklund. I've stopped doing that uh, just because it was costing me too much. And then we've got a whole host of players, as you can see, that are on the bench, that are not even in the squad, that are down to sort of like three stars. So, you know, Tirado is my main man. I keep, every time I get any free sort of like upgrades, I keep giving it to him. He's the guy that sort of like you get with when you start the game and you go through sort of like the tutorials. Forlan, another player that I changed. How has he done so far this season? Four in the league. It's three in the league, one in the cup, three in the cups, one in the Champions League. So he's doing pretty well. Stoichkov is a little bit less on quality. Yeah, three matches played, no goals. No goals in the Champions League, two and two in the Cups. We maybe need to strengthen. We probably need to strengthen in the right, in the striking area. How has my young lad done? Darkin, he scored one goal. Should we tell you what? Let's give, let's give young Darkin a go up front. Stoichkov can come off the bench. I'm quite happy now. I've got a fair few players as well. Um, players like this. Czech Republic player that can play in two different, two 
two rolls. So I am trying to pick them up as much as I possibly can when I'm trying to sign some players. I've also been doing the associations. I'm not quite sure what the point of it is, to be honest. It doesn't seem to affect anything with your main team. Um, the prizes haven't been that great. You know, we finished third and we got two tokens. Um, I've got loads. I've got 62 of those tokens as well. So I'm interested to know what... I'm obviously missing the importance of association. So by all means, let me know down in the comments. But I'm slowly building. I think we'll probably... I think the aim this year is, because we've started pretty well in the league, I think the aim is definitely to try and get out of the league once again. And then we, I'm, I'm really enjoying the, the, the difficult... The, I suppose it is the difficulty of trying to start sign players by not obviously spending tokens. And I'm kind of proving to you, look, to anyone who out there thinks it's sort of like a buy as you know, pay as you win kind of game. That it's not the case. There is my goalkeeper, by the way, Mackenzie, 26 years old, what five and a half star. So he's he's a big upgrade on what is our yeah three. We've gone from three and a quarter star pretty much. So a nice little upgrade for us. I think if we just sprinkle in a couple of players every season and then hopefully keep building our youth up i think that's the way that we go i said the youth system has worked pretty well with dark and inspector who have who've been useful who are going to be useful at this level for us for sure we've got sullivan who's going to be a four star when he comes through cuff another defender i did ask for defenders and then stevens by the looks of it is going to be a really good player for us so we really need to try and work on him maybe try and retrain him as a central midfielder as well because we don't have a central midfielder um, in the game, uh, sorry, we don't play with an attacking midfielder, so we really need to train him up so he can be a little bit of backup to Terado. Right, here we go, game day, boys. What are they looking like? So we're, we're by the looks of it, we're stronger than them across the board. Want to see the youngster Darkin as well. It's nice to grow your own players and see them come good. Spectin has made a really good impact for us, but Darkin is probably a little bit of a backup. We've got a cheeky bonus, so we're going to go attack, aren't we? Right, first highlight. I'll have to see how many people we've actually got coming through the door. Ooh, cut out nicely, that. I thought we were in there, fans. It looks like we've sold out. Two and a half thousand by the looks of it. I'm not still quite 100% sure how the stadium stuff works. So it maybe looks like we need to upgrade and get some more, get the attendance maybe a little bit bigger. Torado skips through. <gasps> Should have scored. He actually chipped the ball over to a sliding tackle, but couldn't put it in. So I think I need, maybe need to look at that. We'll have a little look at that, actually, before we go and just have a look at what we can do potentially with our attendance, get it up, build some more stands, I would have thought. I think once you've built the stands, does it then convert to does it then convert to seats? You've got to then convert them to seats. As we're in, Martin, oof, not bad for the left back, getting forward. We've made a good start, though. This should be one of these games that we're playing. Uh, so this should be one of the games that we actually win, right? We're long ball. Svetton's in the youngster. He's got a lovely man bun. Oh, and he smashed it over the bar. We maybe need to work on a little bit more shooting practice. Right, Forlan, Torado. Dodge Fand. Off the left, we've got some decent air dudes. He's got a proper mohawk going on his Dodge Fand. Here he is on his right foot. Cleared. Yes, I've got a fan. I've got a fan watching, giving that extra 2% bonus. What a dude. Gicardini, if you want to become, you know, uh, if you want to become friends, as I said, my, my Facebook link is down in the description. Go and add me as a friend. You can follow, still carry on and follow my progress. They've nearly scored. Good save from Mackenzie. Another one with a man bun in. All the rage in top 11 by the looks of it. Come on, boys. We need to nick a win here. I do think we need to sign a striker. Do think we need to sign a strike? So I think I'm going to save my tokens for a little bit and then make a move. Oh, that's a massive tackle by Dada Dada's fan. But yeah, I definitely think we need. Oh no, free kick. This could be dangerous. Oh, good save again from Mackenzie. Let's go attack again. Yeah. So I think we'll we'll save our tokens and try and get a new striker in over the next maybe week or so. Right, Hamilton. They've come into the game a little bit. Our opponents, the Tunis. Go on, Torado. Oh, God, I'm going to break. That's the one thing I want to see, potentially, with a little upgrade with the game, is them little clearances. It looked like we were going to break, but then it's not like that. the highlight finishes. They aren't doing sort of like counter-attacks and stuff like that yet. Right, we're off. No, we're not. Same again. <laughs> Gets me every time. Gets me every time. 
Right, just before half time, we've been a little bit. After that really good opening 20 minutes, we've struggled a little bit, but it looks like we could be breaking now. Forlan. Into the Torado, our main man. Just lays it back off to Forlan. Ooh. Schwechten. Sorry, our striker as well, Darkin. He looks like he's a silver haired ponytail. I think that's what he's rocking at the age of about 18. He is, look. There he is, look. Love that. He's maybe blonde. He's probably blonde, but we'll go with silver. They're in, they're in, they're in. Goal. We didn't take our chances. They've taken their chances. We've been poor since the opening 20 minutes. And now we're 1-0 down. Half time. We're going to do a change. We're going to take Darkin off, you know. Let's get Stoichkov on. We definitely need another striker. 100% need another striker. Right, we're off. Second half. Come on. We don't want a home defeat in our last episode. Of this little series, right? Valderrama. Fallen. By the way, what a name that is, Valderrama. Svepton. Fallen. Torado! Yes. The main man, the central midfielder who loves to get into the penalty area, has made it 1 1. Get in. I think what I am going to do as well with the Champions League this year, I don't think we're good enough to really push in the Champions League. So I think I'm going to rest players. They've flipping scored. I'm going to rest players in the Champions League games. And just help with our fitness for these league games. Even though we're fully fit today. And we've struggled. Right. Svepton out on this right hand side. Find Stochkov to substitute. He's lost it. And are they going to break on us here? No, we've got it back. No. It's going to be a highlight for these. Odys fan. Oh, it's a good block from Nesta. That was typical. That was like real life Alessandro Nesta. Right, let's do a little tactical change. Let's bring on the Frenchman on this right hand side. And we're also going to move Torado up into that attacking midfield slot. As they've gone close again. Right, Valderrama. Out to just Fand. Forlan. Out to the Frenchman on this right-hand side. Another one with a man bun. Love it. I need to get one of those myself. Stoichkov. No, we've lost it. We need to push for a winner here, boys. An equaliser, should I say. Plenty of the ball. Ten shots. They've only had six shots, boys. Disappointing. Torado. Definitely, I think we definitely need that striker, don't we? Right, lovely football, though. Ah. Oh, we might need two goals here. It's a good save again. To be fair, Mackenzie's made three really good saves for us, the uh, Scottish goalkeeper. Martin is really struggles. I think we need a replacement at left-back as well, going forward. It's not been a great game. Can we nick an equaliser, boys? I don't think so. I think, if anything, they're going to get a third goal here. Or maybe not. Forlan. He's waiting for some support. He finds Torado. Here he is. Captain Marvel. Finds Stoichkov. Yes. Thumps it in. 2-2. Two -two. Can we get a winner? Potentially the last little highlight of the game, of the series. Here we go. Can we nick a winner? Stoichkov is in. The super sub. Oh. That was a chance. That was a chance. I don't think. Can we get one more chance? I've gone attacking with my little bonus to finish. Martin goes for a long switch. Finds Bentoncourt, the right back. Krasniak, our French midfielder. Valderrama goes long, blocked it, cut out. Is that it, boys? Are we finishing with a 2-2? Disappointing. We should be winning this game. It's a draw. We've drawn 2-2. All right, and that's it for the series as well, boys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed giving a little bit, doing something a little bit different on the channel. And it's definitely, again, that I'm going to keep going. As I said, my Facebook link is down below so you can add me as a friend so we can follow, so you can still follow my progress on Top 11. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. See you later.